Hi vlog, good morning, it's me. Um, do you know how behind I am? Sorry, um, the vlogs, the last one I uploaded was Christmas of 2020. I mean, Halloween, that's even worse. Of 2020. Yeah. Excuse me? Anyway, today is August, August 3rd. Um, it is like s almost seven in the morning. 6.35, I had to check that. Um, I woke up at 5, Nick left for work. Um, I've just been watching some TV. Uh, just let the dogs out front because we got a wasp nest in the back. Handled it yesterday. I got stung three times, so I didn't know they were there, and then we handled it. But I have to go spray it all off because it has chemicals in it, and I, we don't want the dogs around that, so we've been taking them out front. Um... Today, the goal is clean the flipping house. I'm taking it easy this morning. I'm about to FaceTime my grandpa. I'm gonna move over a load of laundry. And then at eight, I'm go or 8.30, I'm going to a yoga class. And then after that, I am cleaning the rest of the day. Um, I, yeah, because tomorrow we're leaving for Michigan at like 1.30 or two or whenever, um, sometime in that early afternoon. And so tomorrow I have stuff to do like blow up an air mattress, walk the dogs, pick up Tank's medicine that I have to get, uh, pack the extra bags, make some sandwich, you know, got stuff to do. So today we're cleaning the house because when we get back from Michigan, um, Dad, Nature, and Taya will be with us. So I don't know. I want the house to be clean. Got my iced coffee. Got one dog. Got two dogs. Drink your water, ladies. All right, I'm currently watering my plants uh, since it's gonna be hot today and it's not gonna rain, but I'm also going to spray down where the wasps are, where, fingers crossed, were. You know that TikTok saying that's like, what does it say, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be stupid, you better be tough or something. That's how I feel right now. For starters though, look at this gorgeous sunflower. And she has a bunch of little blossoms down there too. Yesterday though, I was mowing the lawn. The lawn does look great. And I literally was walking around to take the lawn mower to go to the front. And I was like, oh, these little like decorative grasses that are at the base of our deck are getting long. And I have like a little, it's kind of, it's not doing well. But it's a blueberry plant, that's what it was supposed to be. And um, I was like, these little grasses are covering it. Let me rip them off, like some of the longer pieces so that my blueberry plant can get more sun. My hand hurt for a second when I was ripping it off and I thought I had got like a thorn. Cause you know, like the other week I was pulling up weeds and one of the weeds just was real thor thorny and I didn't realize it and I got like a little prick. That's what I thought was happening for like less than a second. That's what I thought was happening. And then my head started hurting and I was like, and then I saw something fly past me and I, then it hit me. I was like, oh shit. And I'm running away and I'm like going like this on my hair and there was one stuck in my, oh, it was not cool. Thankfully, um, I got away and we then got the wasp spray and we sprayed it. So, but now I'm gonna rinse the plants and I see one wasp and I'm wondering if this is a smart idea to do from down here because I'm gonna need to run. Okay, I'm gonna get it on camera. We might, this is gonna tell me if I need to go back to the store and get a second can. I see where they're going. Wish me luck. That's where they're going. I hope that they drown. This is kind of mean, but not really. Are any coming out? I'm gonna get a little closer to do the back part. Oh, I see one. Die, die, die. Oh my God, this is violent. This is probably the least violent thing you guys have ever seen, but like, I don't like killing things, even if they're wasps. Also, that blueberry plant now, it's gonna get thrown because it probably got a little wasp spray on it. All right, we're just really, whoa, you can't see me. We're just really kicking it with into the, you know, productivity gear today, guys. I just got off the phone with my grandpa. I have like three minutes to get my shoes on and to get out of this house. Go mama, I have to go pee, I have to get my water for my yoga class. Worst case, 
I'm late or I miss it and uh, I just work out by myself. But within FaceTiming him, which was very nice, I love FaceTiming my grandma and grandpa, I refilled the soap and folded all the laundry. I got a little bit put away, but I gotta go. So let's rush out of here and go get a workout in. I keep telling myself like, oh yeah, that would be good to do today. Like freaking attacked by the wasps yesterday. I didn't mow the front lawn. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. But you got a lot of stuff to do. So we'll see. Okay, gotta go, bye. <sighs> oh my God, guys. Okay, I have multiple takeaways. A, anyone that says yoga is not hard is a liar. You have to be very strong to be good at yoga. I am not that. B, you also have to be very good at like thinking. Like, mem you have to have a good memory. Because like we were doing this thing, you know how like in yoga you'll do like one side and then you'll do something like to stretch out and then you'll do like the other leg or the other arm or whatever, other, whatever. Well, I flip and forgot halfway through, and then everyone's like moving to the other side. I'm like, crap. I'm like, crap, which side did I already do? Literally through the whole thing, I was like, I don't know if I'm doing the right side from doing the same side again. And then I was like, I wonder if everyone knows, and they're like, wow, you idiot. But then I was like, no one is paying that close of attention to me. Anyway, then I went in the sauna for like eight minutes. It was pretty hot. I'm trying to work my way up. I get kind of bored in there, and like, after a second, I'm like, yeah, this is uncomfortable. That lasted eight minutes. That's like tied for my longest. I've only been three times. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But whatever. I mean, I'm already here, so you know, I might as well. It takes like an extra ten minutes just to get down, get in for eight, get out, come, you know? Anyway, so I'm gonna go pick up a few things. Someone is giving me something, a free thing. I have to get gas and I have to get another thing of wasp spray. I don't wanna kill them, but I have to kill them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, it's my backyard. Like my dogs go back there and tank like goes under the stairs a little bit. And so I want to make sure there's no wasps, but then it's like, makes me worried because it's like, well, wasp spray was on that stuff. So I'm going to wasp spray it, or we're probably going to do it this afternoon. And then, um, it says to wait till it dries and then it's safe for dog for pets. Um, but I'm just going to rinse it again then after it dries and then, uh, wait till that dries and then I'm gonna call it good knowing tank though he's gonna flip in like smell out the like residue and like go lick it and die the other day he ate my knitting needle okay all right we got more I think this is gonna be the finishing one that's just dangerous all right if you hear licking it's tank oh he's not coming to lick me he's coming to get water Anyway, we are home. I wouldn't recommend what I'm about to do, but I'm about to do it anyway. This bottle of wasp spray, or whatever the flip it's called, explicitly says, do it mornings, evenings. It's 10 a.m. We're calling it the morning. I'm gonna spray them now. Oh, I left my glasses outside. I'm gonna spray them now because I really want the dogs to be able to come back out here. And I don't have much time. Okay, why does it smell like someone's grilling? I don't want to ruin my neighbor's time. But why are they grilling at 10 a.m.? Okay, let's do it. Step one, shake well. All right, I hope you can see this. I'm propping you up between my feet because I don't want to do this. Okay. I definitely breathed it in a little. <sighs> Alright, I scrubbed the crap out of my hands. Probably shouldn't leave that on the counter, but it didn't drip anywhere. It just it's kind of misting back a little. I think I breathed it in because I smelled something weird. But I did spray them a lot. So we're going to let that sit, do its job. We'll check later. Thankfully, I wanted to do it now because the sun's still out, so I had to wait till it dries. I just don't like doing it because. Thankfully it's not getting on my plants, but I don't want it anywhere near my plants. Cause like I have a tomato that's ready and I really want to eat it. But in my head, I'm just super sussed out. But like, it's not like it could have gone up and around and gone on my tomatoes for that. Let me know what you say. Uh, 
whatever. If we die, we die, am I right? I can't really do much about it. All right, shoot. I was gonna do the like wet vac thing to the couch, but now that I'm home, I think I'm just gonna walk, walk the dogs first. Hey, 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 get out, get out. They really wanna go out back so that they can get some energy out and before it's too flippin' hot. All right, we walked 0.7 in 30 minutes just about. This sweet old guy here is slowing down, so, and it's hot out, so the second half of the walk is a little bit difficult, right? And poor baby has to, do you want me to pitch your belly? Here, you could roll over. Let's see if he'll do it. No, no belly pat, oh, okay. And baby, such a good girl. She waits so slowly for him, even though I'm sure it's driving her crazy. You okay? You made it. You did. It was a good job, you did. All right, now I'm struggling to get some motivation. So I'm gonna chug some water. It's 10.35. I'm gonna clean until 11, and then probably eat, because I'm already hungry. Um, we have these baguettes in the freezer. I'm gonna warm, well, they're in halves. I'm gonna warm half of one up and make like an open face tuna sandwich. I don't know why I started thinking about that on the walk. It sounds so good. I got 24 minutes. I think the logical step is um, like you, what's it called? It's not called water back. I don't know. It's a vacuum that has water in it. I'm gonna do all of this stuff because that's gonna take the longest to dry. All right, I'm gonna use this here, there, 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 and there. I washed um, the blanket that's on it and the pillows, but I'm gonna do all that and then I'll show you what color the water is. So skip away now. I'm gonna do all this hard work that you won't see and I'll be sweating. But then you can see the disgusting water. And to be fair, I did all of this like max four weeks ago. I think it was even three weeks ago, so. It's not like I waited forever. Okay, it's literally about to be 11. So I guess that took me like 25 minutes, but let's go ahead and empty out the um, disgusting water. In my head, I'm like, no, it's not gonna be that dirty. But I always think that, and every time it's that dirty, so. All right, prepare to look away if you are easily grossed out. Ah, yes. Very good. Let's just say I'm glad that's no longer on my floor and couch. Ew. Okay, yum. All right, glad I ate. I am no longer hungry, but now I am a little bit lazy. But we have no time to stop because I want this house to be clean. I'm gonna go move over the wash, add in these rags, and then um, I'll probably just do room by room. Sorry, I burped um, to get everything done. I guess I'll start in the living room. Yay. All right, okay, things have changed a little bit. So last time I saw you was like, I don't know, 30 minutes ago. Wait, wrong foot. Um, Nick texted me and he needed me to take something to the UPS store, which made me angry. <laughs> Just like a little bit angry, but it was only because I was flipping hot and I was in the middle of doing something and I was like, I'm doing it right now, which I didn't need to do. Right but either way, I'm fine now. I was like, just like focused for like 30 minutes, but it worked out because in 15 minutes, um, I, at one, I wanted to go over to the store by our house that sells bagels because they do like discounted bagels for the last like 15 minutes of the day. And I wanted to pick up some of those. So I thought, what can I do in between? So for my grandpa's birthday, Nick and I are getting like some pastries. So I called that place to make sure I didn't have to place an order because I didn't know how it worked. But she was like, no, just come in. I was like, okay, so about 20 minutes. So I wanted to bring, since Nietzsche and all of them are flying, we're staying in an Airbnb, hanging out with grandma and grandpa, obviously, celebrating. And then we're all driving back. I was like, okay, let me bring some snacks. 
So we have like some cliff bars at the house and I'll bring some like, we have like that canned water liquid death and stuff. But so I went to Aldi, I was like, where can I get some cheap snacks? So all of these, this cost, cost me 14 bucks. So I think that's pretty fair. Pringles, have some chips, just these chewy candies because I don't know what, you know, what, everyone might be like wanting something different. These little smoked meat sticks. Um, a trail mix that has a little chocolate in it and then these are just good for like quick snacks it's cheese and meat um, I mean and nuts and stuff and I figure like just to get snacks since we're gonna be eating out with them we're not there for that long but you know to avoid any hangriness I thought it would be good and for the oh my god why did this person park so close and for the road trip home I mean that's five people in a car anything that's left I'll just take it and then because we're going on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and I was telling my dad like they have like tons of gas stations but like they don't really have any great like food options like if you're on the Turnpike they have like Panera and like Arby's and that's good but I don't think he likes Panera that much I don't know anyway got some snacks now we're gonna head over try to pick up the bagels I think the deal is 10 for 10 which these are some bomb bagels so I figure that way Nick and I can bring one like make a sandwich tomorrow for the road trip um and I can freeze some so that when they're in town, we can have fresh bagels. Okay, there's my plan. All right, I feel like I'm really picking up speed now. This room is all the way clean. I might just Windex this table and tidy up like a little bit, but all this is completely clean, swept, twiffered. Baby's in here. Hey, mama. Relaxing. I moved the crate in here because when family's in town, it's not gonna fit where it used to go, so I moved their bed out, this one here, just so if she needs a moment, you know in her crate as Tang goes in now. Tang can fit in there too. But anyway, move that there. All this is dry. I cleaned the mirror, swept everything here, Swiffered, dog bed is clean. And I have put together a bag of snacks and I'm putting aside some other things that I know I'm gonna wanna bring. <sighs> now, finish up this room, move to the kitchen. Oh, actually first, I forgot. The laundry's done. I didn't have enough hands. I have to go get the rest of that. All right, guys. I finished cleaning the house in a hurry, but I'm making dinner now. We're making some sort of like ramen. Uh, it's like a mix of whatever we have. I uh, finished cleaning. Showered. But I'm freezing the dog's food so that they get a little extra tired out. Now making our food while Nick is showering. Fingers crossed it's good. Uh, the house looks great. I just, it was taking too long. I had to go into X Games modes. Now I wish I, my green onions weren't dead, but here's dinner. <laughs> 